Welcome back dear friends for another exciting tutorial. Today we are going to talk about combustion calculation in HICES and uh, in the end of this tutorial you will learn uh, how to find out the uh, air flow rate which are required uh, for a clean combustion of the given fuel and also we will learn how to calculate the heat available from a fuel system. So let's move to the problem statement to practice these concepts. So here is the combustor, uh, combustion system in which uh, fuel that is a pure methane stream is being fed. On the other hand, the second stream is air and uh, the both uh, stream uh, inlet conditions are given. Methane is entering at 25 degrees C and the flow rate of methane is also given 1 kg per hour. But on the other hand, air, uh, composition of air is given, temperature pressure is given, but the mass flow rate is not given. That we have to find out uh, through calculation how much air is required to completely burn 1 kg per hour of methane. On the other hand, uh, for air stream, uh, we also have to consider that 10% oxygen is in excess for this stream. So how we are going to calculate it, you will see in coming slides. And the other two parameters that we have to find is the temperature of hot gases. And also we have to calculate the heat uh, available in 1 kg per hour of methane stream when it is completely uh, uh, burn in a combustor okay so first we are going to calculate the air required uh, uh, to burn 1 kg per hour of methane okay so for that we just simply going to apply a mole balance you are seeing the balance chemical reaction here and you can see that uh, 2 mole of oxygen are required theoretically to burn completely 1 mole of methane. Okay, And we know that we are uh, entering air and in air oxygen is 20%. Okay, So uh, I am just uh, using the uh, uh, singularity uh, relation that is uh, here 0 0.2 mole of oxygen is present in one mole of air so one mole of oxygen will present how much mole of air so you just have to divide both sides by 0 0.2 and two mole of oxygen will be present in 10 mole of air okay so we find that uh, instead of oxygen if we are inserting air so we have to insert 10 mole of air to uh, react with 1 mole of methane but we have oxygen in excess that is 10% in excess so how we are going to uh, 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 consider this one we are just going to simply use percent excess oxygen formula that is given here uh, that is equal to uh, oxygen mole fraction in the air multiplied by the mole of air that are being fed into the uh, uh, combustor. So this is the uh, 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 quantity that we want to find mole of air that is fed when the 10% excess oxygen is being provided. We know uh, theoretical oxygen that is required for uh, reaction from this balanced chemical equation that is 2 mole okay so we just rearrange this formula and we have this formula mole of air that is being fed we having the 10 percent excess of oxygen so we just rearrange it and put all the values and here we have the answer so for one mole of methane we must have to introduce 11 mole of air okay to have a complete uh, uh, clean uh, burn for methane fuel okay so 
let's move to the Aspen Hysis to solve this problem okay now we are in Hysis so the first step we have to uh, specify all the components so the first one is methane the second one is oxygen and the third one is nitrogen fourth one is carbon dioxide and the last one is water okay so next step we have to specify fluid packages for that just go to the fluid packages window and select ping robinson for this reaction because here chemical reaction is involved we are going to specify this reaction just clicking on reaction tab add a reaction and uh, we are uh, taking conversion reaction for this problem close this window double click on it and add all the components so methane is a reactant oxygen is a reactant and um, uh, sorry uh, uh, oxygen and uh, water okay now we have to specify this uh, stoichiometric coefficient so for methane is minus one for carbon dioxide is plus one for oxygen is minus two for uh, water is plus two okay and uh, here the base component is methane and we are assuming 100 percent conversion okay so when you finish this close this window and uh, add to the fluid package co connect it so now double click on it so you can see that here we have a heat of reaction at 25 degrees c for this reaction that is given here so this much amount of energy will release if one k mole of methane is burned okay that is 8 into 10 is to power 5 kilojoule okay so just close this one go to the simulation environment and uh, select two streams but two material stream and one control valve and uh, go to the reactors and from reactors take a gibbs reactor so for the reaction that have fully specified and uh, uh, not much complex don't have side reactions you can use gibbs reactor that calculate by minimizing the overall gibbs free energy of a reaction okay so let's uh, build the simulation so the stream one we can say it is methane okay the temperature of the stream is given that is 25 and pressure is 4.5 bar and uh, and mass flow rate is given here 1 kg mol per hour and the composition go to composition put one in front of methane because it's pure methane okay so again go to the conditions so here uh we know that one k mole per hour is equal to has high is calculated its molar flow that is equal to 6.22 uh 233 into 10 raised to power minus 2 okay so we know from powerpoint that for one mole of methane we need 11 mole of air okay so just go to the calculator so we have here uh, 0 0.0 0 0.06 uh, 233 okay just we have to multiply it with 11 so this is the uh, molar flow of air stream okay so this is the way how we calculate it molar flow rate of air stream so let's move to the air and uh, just specify it 
that is air we know the temperature is uh, 25 degree c and pressure is 1.5 bar let me check um, yes 1.5 bar 25 degree c and molar flow rate we just calculated that is equal to 0 0.68563 0 0.68563 okay now just go to the composition and uh, specify the composition of air so 0 0.2 for oxygen and 0 0.8 for nitrogen click ok so this stream is also specified so this valve is actually uh, removing I mean uh, decreasing the pressure okay so I will say it well number one okay so Delta P for Delta P just double click on stream one and uh, the stream one pressure uh, is given that is 1.5 bar okay so just specify here pressure and then it is done so now double click on Gibbs reactor and here we have two stream number one and air and hot gas and uh, liquid out and uh, the simulation is already converged so we also have to find out the temperature of hot gases for that you just hover on it you can see the temperature of hot gases is 1839 degrees C okay and uh, in liquid stream there should not be any flow rate okay and uh, the other one other thing that we ask is heat supplied by the system okay so how we can uh, calculate this one so for that go to the properties go to the reactions and here you have a heat of reaction okay so heat supply by the system can simply be calculated by multiplying the heat of reaction to methane molar flow okay and uh, we have a methane molar flow that is 0 0.062 okay k mole per hour and this is simply conversion that one joule per second is equal to one watt okay and the heat of reaction 8 into 10 raised to power 5 kilojoule per k mole that is here this one okay so the rest of the things is just uh, uh, the unit conversion so k mole is being cancelled with k mole and the rest when we multiply these two we have uh, this number with the unit kilojoule per hour but to convert it into watt we have to change hour into second and one hour is equal to 3600 seconds so hour will cancel with hour and we have the final unit kilojoule per second so 13.85 kilojoule per second are 13.85 kilowatt is heat or energy available uh, for uh, 1 kg per hour methane stream so these uh, these are the questions that been asked for this combustion problem i hope you understand and like this tutorial and i hope you learn something new please don't forget to subscribe and share the channel with your friends 
uh, until next video bye bye take care